it has been a while since we waited on the surgery. And you know, it's not only a Christmas gift, it's a lifetime gift. First, she, she was born premature. Mm. And she spent how much was two, two, two months in incubator? Mm -hmm. You know, and then I think after she get out of the incubator, then the doctor said them here are murmur. Yeah. Murmur and her heart. And they sent to seven months. Seven months. Seven, 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 seven months. Mm -hmm. Seven months. You know. And um after the doctor said they heard a murmur, they sent her to do an echo. Mm -hmm. uh, children, then we found out that um, she had a, a tumor in her heart, mm -hmm. and then um, after that she she had um, pain. She 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 started to have some pain, mm -hmm. you know, and they did some tests and then send her back to you. Yeah. To 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 do. What about baby newborn? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. To to do the um, sickle cell mm -hmm. test, mm -hmm. and that's how we found out. Because she usually have consistent pain. Yeah, but we never know why, why she was having pain because we didn't know that she had sickle cell. It's all just pain tears. I try to be strong, you know. Even when she gets the hole, you know, I don't want just her to see me crying, but I just can't help it at times, you know. Mm -hmm. It's really heartbroken, man, to see her. Because she admit very, very often in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Very often, all four times for the year. It's mm -hmm. serious, serious pain. And this is how she was all the years growing up yeah. to this point. Until in 2018, I think, mm -hmm. the, the, the um, UA hospital, where I take out the sickle cell clinic, they put her on a medication to help her, not that she don't go into all those pain again. Mm -hmm. But she's still having crisis then, you know, but it's not that bad because that she has been hospitalized since she's on that medication for mm -hmm. the pain. In 2016, um, somebody told us about Dr. Foster, mm -hmm. it's a, I think he specializes in heart, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and um, Where was he? In Kingston? Half, yeah, in Halfway Tree. Mm -hmm. Halfway Tree, and um, you know, we reach out to him and he have us hooked up with um, Health City in the, the Cayman Island, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, she, you know, she went there and Shortly after she arrived, she she had a crisis. crisis. You know, they said they can't go in with the surgery due to the sickle cell. They don't have the, the proper equipment mm -hmm. to do the change of blood. I was disappointed in some ways, but then I said, you know, everything on for a reason. Yeah. And after I found out about the other child that had passed from the same condition, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. How is the link made with chain of hope? It's true children. Yeah. True children. After <coughs> after Cayman, he came out in Jamaica. Yeah. It, I tried Boston Children's Hospital, but I didn't reach anywhere with them. Overseas. Like Overseas. Yeah, yeah, it's in Boston. I see a back at Boston man to know and then you got in contact with Chain of Hope I think it, it, it would have been um, Dr. Little and yeah. the surgical team. Mm -hmm. the day I put they worked together. So they worked together. So she was on the list and they, yeah. they called us to come in with her and mm -hmm. that they are planning to do her surgery. What does that make you feel like? <laughs> tell, me, tell me about that phone call. <coughs> part of me, you know, I was happy to know that it was going to do, but part of me is kind of scared. I really wanted to do, but I have a little scaredness in me, you know. Because you know, surgery is a big thing, and to know it's a hard surgery, it's a major, major surgery. I was just scared, and being with her sickle cell condition, mm -hmm. because most of the time the doctor was saying, because she and because she had the sickle cell, like, you know, have to be waiting, and she was even at a other clinic, they call it hematology clinic, mm -hmm. to help prepare her for the surgery. To help prepare her. That those were the doctors that chance to use her to mm -hmm. take her at her blood and give her fresh blood that she could have less sickle in her blood. Mm -hmm. Because if that didn't do, they wouldn't go ahead with the surgery. Well, yeah. the preparation was already started mm -hmm. um, from she was on the um, hydroxyurea for the mm -hmm. sickle cell. Mm -hmm. So they was trying to get the sick, some of the sickle out of her blood. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the procedure started for a while now. Mm -hmm. It was hard, very, very hard, because when, when they was even pushing her, when I see they come to the 
on the wall for her in the wheelchair, you know, my hair was filled with water, but I'm trying to keep it in because I don't want her to see me crying or for her to be scared, you know, I don't want her to feel like anything's going to go wrong, you know. So, you know, I tried to keep in the tears, but while I was in the waiting here, mm -hmm. I just could not control it. But I was there and I was just praying and just talking to God. Because I've always been praying and, you know, and my church family prayed for her and so forth. Mm -hmm. When she came out and I went inside, I saw all these tubes and stuff and I said to her, the Maya that is here. And I saw she, she hold her hand like this. And I asked her, you're feeling any pain? And she was like... She opened my eyes. Eh? No, no, her, her eyes, eyes was closed. closed. Yeah. And she, she made a sign to her and I said, no. no. So I said, you all right? And she said, yeah. yes. And then I said to her, I love you. And I saw she, she did make a heart with her mm. finger. You know, I feel so, you know, moved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mommy, you're all right. <clears throat> that was really because before the surgery, I couldn't even eat, you know. <laughs> so I was very relieved, you know. I said, Thank you, Jesus, because I know without God it, was, it wouldn't be possible. Yeah. It was a total good relief because it was very scary. So you guys were outside of the waiting here and the doctor called the inside of the, yeah. the ICU. Yeah, yeah. after the surgery. Yeah. So I went in first and um, I was, the nurse said that she's sleeping, but I could talk to her. So mm. I was there talking and talking and. You know, and then I saw she, she stretched her hands towards and I touched her. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm here, I see the surgery is over and everything. And, you know, she's excited that it is done also. When mm -hmm. daddy asked her how she feels, she said she feels great that it is done. Yeah. 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 She feels really, you know, she's really glad that it's over and that part is okay. Mm -hmm. So she has been at home for all long? Yeah, she came the 15th. She came out the 15th. Yeah, it? Yeah. And what's the uh, cause of condition? Fully recovering, fully recovering now and bones and everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eating yeah. a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> compare compare them when yeah, before yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. compare the two both of them to me. What was she like before I was she, like? she was very picky with her food. Mm -hmm. But after the surgery she she started to eat a lot more. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And one of the things that I after the surgery, um, before the surgery, she her heart used to beat very fast, mm. you know, and now you don't hear it, yeah, yeah, like that, you know. I don't think there's any other gift that you could get right now that's bigger than this. True. Especially you from, know, yeah. yeah, because it has been a while since we waited on the surgery. And, you know, it's not only a Christmas gift, it's a lifetime gift. Mm. It's a lifetime gift, you know. If I don't get anything else for my Christmas, discover everything. It's really a life changer. Really, really. I want to say a big, big, big thank you to Train of Hope, Dr. Lickle and his team, and all the doctors at um, Boston Monty Hospital. They have, they have done a great thing for my daughter, and I really love and appreciate what they do. I pray God will continue to strengthen and to keep them, and that other people will continue to do need. It really help a lot of children who cannot afford it because, you know, it's really costly to do a heart surgery. You know, we really, really appreciate it. We really, really appreciate your doctors, Trade of Hope, and everyone that sponsors. I want to say a big thanks to um, Dr. Little. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a genius. Yeah, work, yeah, miracle work. Yeah. Miracle, yes, man. That man, trust me. You know, words um, can't explain, you know. But I, I really appreciate everything that they did for my dad. And they, they made the, the, the preparation and everything, you know, they. they they did a great job.